Hey guys, MC Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Avengers Controller Build the Figure Wave. Here we have Blue Marvel. This is the first time Blue Marvel has ever been made in action figure form, I believe. Pretty sure. Um, so we'll get right into it. Side artwork of uh, Blue Marvel looking very good there on the side. Same on the other side. Looking at the back of the package, we get the same artwork. Um, it says Adam Brashear has overcome evils large and small as Blue as the Blue Marvel, a super adventurer and genius scientist who tackles the universe's most complex problems. And I believe he is one of, if not the most powerful um, superhero in the Marvel universe. Um, and not a lot of people knew about him because he kind of went into hiding for some stuff. Let's get into it. And here is the Blue Marvel figure out of the package. He comes with the left leg to the controller build a figure, and we'll throw that off to the side. Um, in terms of accessories, he has um, a couple of extra hands. He has fists that come in the package, and then he has a trigger finger hand for the right, and then an open hand for his left. And these two blue like flame effects as if he's using um, kind of his energy um, through his fists. And these look pretty good. Um, and then we have the blue marvel figure so let's get in for a closer look at this guy okay so here's an up close look at blue marvel adam brashear and he looks really good you can actually get a feel for him being a little bit of an older superhero um having been around in the 60s um and you know when people found out that he was african-american you know that's why he was asked to retire uh because the, the the america wasn't ready for a black superhero so you know that's when he went into um into retirement unfortunately uh, but he came back um, as part of the Ultimates with Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Spectrum, and America Chavez. Um, and they looks like they teamed up with Galactus. Something going on with Galactus. I did not read that storyline, but that happened around the, the time of the, the Secret Wars event. So um, another good character addition as the HasLab Galactus figure will be out soon. We get this vest, some nice sculpted detail in there. Paint lines all look pretty good. White paint on a dark color um, plastic doesn't usually work out too well but the blue doesn't really seem to come through so bad um through the white which is good the white here on his chest isn't the greatest there's a couple of kind of some funky spots on the sides but overall pretty good belt there just blue pants and black boots not a whole lot going on it is a reused body we've seen all these different pieces before belt and vest and head sculptor obviously new um, so nothing special going on there. We still have pins in the elbows, but those don't get in the way because they're all the same color. Same in the knees. No worries there. But yeah, I think he looks pretty good. Let's get in for his articulation. So this Blue Marvel figure is essentially the same as the Spider UK body that was used on like Black Panther and a couple of other figures. Um, so a lot of the same pieces, except obviously, of course, he's got boots on there. So the articulation isn't really going to be anything new. That, and, you know, some, we've seen it all before. The head is on a ball peg um, hinge so he can look up that much he can look down that much which is pretty good full rotation but the color of the vest kind of gets in the way some pivot going on in there the shoulders you can get to go up and out a little bit as you can see there full rotation upper bicep swivel double jointed elbow and again these are not pinless they are it is reused so it is an older body style that much bend um, at the elbow wrists swivel and they do hinge uh, we have the ab crunch here so he can crunch forward that much not too shabby Crunches back a little bit, but the vest really hits his back at that point there waist swivel You kind of have to adjust the belt a little bit to get the waist swivel going on in there uh, legs go out That far apart. That's probably one of the bigger downfalls does not um, Spread all that much kicking forward not bad. You can kick forward that much there leg really doesn't go back upper thigh cut in there double jointed knee like so, and it is, again, older knee, so there are pins. Um, we do have a boot swivel there, which is good. Foot hinges all the way down. Not a whole lot of hinge up. Ankle pivot pickles at the bottom of the feet. There is Blue Marvel. Okay, so here is Blue Marvel along with his Ultimates teammates. We have Black Panther, Spectrum, um, and we have America Chavez and Captain Marvel. So we actually could use a couple of updates to some of these. Well, first of all, we need a comic America Chavez to have technically a full, complete team. Right now, that is the MCU, Doctor Strange, and the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, Captain Marvel comic figure, I wouldn't mind necessarily getting a newer one because this one at the time 
um, like the head sculpt, the, the face is all shiny plastic. It's just not that great of a figure to today's standards and how kind of the paint looked. Uh, back then, this was like the all father wave, so it just wasn't all that great. I'd love to see it updated, maybe using the Shriek body or maybe even a different body altogether. I'm sure when the Marvels come out, we'll probably get a new comic version of Carol Danvers. Um, then it would not surprise me, um, and I'm sure we'll see it. Spectrum, this is kind of a special one. I opened my A Force box set um, to show to bring this one figure out to actually have included with the team. Whether or not we get a Spectrum figure um, remains to be seen, but again, with the Marvels coming out, there's a good chance, even though we'll get an MCU version, maybe there will be something where a some kind of special release just for comic versions who knows we'll see i think it's a fair shot fair shot of that happening okay and here we have the whole controller wave uh so far a couple more figures still left to go we have the madam hydra and the u.s agent figure still to take a look at uh, but here is the wave so far Thor remains to be the best figure in the wave and then for me it's probably going to be quake and then iron man's people eh. Um, Blue Marvel is probably going to be like the fourth figure, top figure in the wave for me. Although U.S. Agent might take that spot, we shall see. Um, while this isn't a bad release, it's a lot of reused parts and stuff that we see. Not that it's necessarily a terrible decision of Hasbro to have done that. You know, it, it makes perfect sense to me that, you know, they would be able to just reuse parts uh, for that. I know new parts would work, would, would be best and ideal for everything. Um, but I think in this case, it works for Blue Marvel. Um, but I'm happy to have it. I would like to see a comic America Chavez get released so we can do a full complete um, Ultimates team from the comics. That would be pretty cool. But you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this Adam Brashear blue Marvel figure? Is it one that you're picking up or are you passing? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that join button to become part of the MCU Collective and becoming a channel member. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.